All aspects of our societies have been impacted by COVID-19. Post-secondary institutions across the country responded rapidly to ensure the success of students. At the University of Calgary, we moved 30,000 students to remote learning, brought home our students and scholars studying abroad, ensured our domestic and international students were safe, and moved over 5,000 faculty and staff to remote work where possible. This was done in a matter of days. We implemented a decade of innovation in a few weeks. At the same time, as a great research university, our faculty and students were engaged in national and international research programs to understand COVID-19 and reduce its impact on our health and our societies. We work closely with all levels of government to inform public health policy. Our spin-out companies rapidly pivoted to supply much needed products to fight the transmission of COVID-19. And our students, themselves impacted by the pandemic, stepped up to support our community. Je suis très fier. I am very proud of the way our students responded to the needs during the COVID-19 pandemic. They adapted. And they gave to those in need. Grocery delivery for those who couldn't get out. They volunteered to conduct contact tracing for the provincial health care systems. And over 200 pre-service teachers provided free individualized online tutoring for primary and secondary students. Our staff rallied to produce supports for mental health, up to the moment information, and advice on how to deal with the day-to-day -day impacts of the new normal. I'm very proud of how we helped and what we accomplished. But now is the time to look beyond the immediate COVID-19 emergency and ask how we can support this generation of students and scholars and ensure Canada's future. COVID-19 has shown the crucial roles that universities play to support Canadians, which is why I'm pushing as hard as I can to ensure that we learn from this year's decade of innovation. This fall, we are adopting a hybrid model of delivery. Within public health guidelines, we want to maximize in-person interactions. They are key, they're a key part of our student experience and a key component of knowledge creation and innovation. The electricity, the lifelong friendships formed and excitement of starting a new journey are not easily replicated online. Canada needs the knowledge our universities create. The world will not be standing still and our prosperity depends on it. Our Canadian government can help to ensure the success of students and scholars in the coming months through investments. Investing in work integrated learning and upskilling these are investments in Canadian productivity. Investing in research. Previous investments have paid huge dividends during COVID-19. Continuing this investment will grow and diversify the Canadian economy. Investing in technology platforms. Doing so will unlock the power of the digital world for delivering advanced education and lead to new discoveries. These are just three examples of many where the return on investment to Canada could be huge. Such investments will ensure that Canada is equipped to deal with the next major global calamity because we will have the talent, creativity, and the ability to create new knowledge. As I wrap up my opening comments, I want to emphasize that the pivots over the last few months have been expensive but we view these expenditures as vital for our students' success and the prosperity that they will bring to the future of Canada. In a world with such significant uncertainty, investment in post-secondary institutions is both an investment in our future and an investment in preparing for the next unknown.